Hey guys, Brian here from Liquid Concepts. So today we're gonna to shoot a quick little video on touch-ups, but it's gonna be version 2.0. And so, um, had a lot of people ask us about the first one on um, pretty much how do you touch up uh, hydrographics. And so we shot a quick little video, we'll add the link to that in the description below. And we did it with uh, pins and all that. Uh, there's also other ways of doing it. Like I was saying in the video, you've also got this right here, which is the paintbrush method. And so um, this is one of our uh, training ones that we've got here, just a little plastic skull. Inevitably, yes, this will be a complete redo. But for the video, we kind of wanted to shoot a quick little video on it just to show you guys what all you can do with the paintbrush and how to touch up and everything like that. So um, let's say that we needed to touch up some of these areas right in here, mainly like if we had a little spot right there that we needed to touch up. And so what we're gonna do is is we're gonna take this uh, paintbrush. Now you'll see that this paintbrush is very small. It's got a very small tip on it. And so uh, the main thing is, is that you wanna have a very small tip. You do not want anything very large at all. And so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna dab this in. Now all this is just activator that I've got in this uh, cup. Now this is actually the top of a PPS cup. Uh, but again, uh, we've got activator in there uh, straight from your uh, paint gun or anything like that. So pretty much now that we have the activator on here, we're gonna take and we need to find the right color that we need for this. So let's just say like maybe a blue or something. And so we'll take this right here and start to rub this. Now the biggest thing is you gotta make sure that you're on the correct side because if not, then you're literally just gonna do just like this and, it's, and nothing's gonna happen. And so at this point right here, we're actually on the wrong side of the film. So um, pretty much whenever you're doing this, you wanna lay it down just like you would on the actual water. So just to kind of show you that, nothing is going to happen. Even if you wipe it off, nothing's gonna happen. So let's take this, let's flip it over to the way that we would lay it down on the water. And now let's grab some more activator and we'll pull off the blue. And so we'll try to get something similar to about that right there. And you can see how that actually pulled off all of the inks that are on that film. And so now that we've got that on there, then I'm just gonna brush it onto the brush. And then we're gonna take that and you wanna just lightly just dab that in. You don't wanna actually brush it in, but you just wanna dab it in. And then now, whenever you look at it like that right there, that right there has gone away, but then of course you see all of this. And so, again, if we wanted to come in, we could come in right here and just kind of lightly dab that in like that. Then now that goes away. Same thing with this hole right here. We can lightly hit this and now that goes away. Same thing in here. We can lightly dab that in there. Now again, yes, that would be a complete redo just because of a lot of that. But let's say that you did have some spots that were right in here. We can easily touch those up to where now these don't stand out like what that big white spot does right there. And so let's say that we needed some green instead of the blue like what we were using. So you definitely wanna make sure that you clean off your paintbrush. So what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna kind of dab that in there like that, grab us a, um, a paper towel or something and just kind <clears> of <throat> work that out. So then that way it kind of gets most of that ink off of the actual paintbrush and then you can come back in and let's say that we just wanted a green or a yellow like this. Now we can take that right there, pull off that green and yellow that's on that, and then come back over here and start to dab that in there. And so again, we can come back in and dab this in. Now again, you'll notice that I'm not really brushing, I'm just lightly dabbing all of that in. And yes, that's not fully covering all the way. And it may not on the first round. So what we can do here is, is come back in and get some more of the actual film itself and do it a second time or even a third time if we need to. Sometimes it may not cover all in the exact first time that you do it. So like I've got a darker area right in through here. So I might come back in with this and darken in 
right in through there and then I've got a little bit darker area right there so I might make those two kind of match up like this right here or maybe even darken in this right here and then come back and you can see how I'm starting to go a little bit lighter in this area right here again now again on something like this yes you're definitely going to see it and all of that but it kind of goes to show you that you can have something that is completely blown out right through here and with a little bit of touch up it makes it look better I'm definitely not gonna say it looks perfect or it looks exactly the way that the pattern was but it will make it look a little bit more inconspicuous so that way the customer may not be able to see exactly what's going on or how this is uh, touched up now again this one is a little bit easier to touch up and so now that actually looks more like um, maybe like the pattern itself but with a little bit of work you can quickly make something that was just a complete blowout all right in through here and dab that in and make it look almost uh, like it wasn't even there and again touch-ups are not always going to uh, be a fix-all and they're not always going to touch up as easy as what that does of course carbon fiber that's going to be one of the hardest ones to touch up uh, camouflage is going to be a little bit easier for you um, but all all of this is dependent on how much you feel like you can touch that up or sometimes it may just be that okay instead of spending say 30 minutes sitting here trying to touch it up i can re-dip it and it comes out a lot better in the dip and then i only have a few minor touch-ups instead of like a humongous spot right here that i have to try to touch up or something like that so um Hopefully this has really helped you guys out. Um, I know on our stuff, even if it's one little bitty dot, we almost always touch up anything that we do just because we want to make sure that it looks as good as it can whenever it goes to the customer. And so um, whether we're using the pins like you saw in the last video or we're doing this right here, this is probably the more common method of what we do whenever we're touching up um, as well as of course with an airbrush. And so of course with an airbrush, we can show you guys that on the next video on airbrushing in, touch-ups, things like that. That way you kind of get a good idea because sometimes it is even better as far as the overall look of it to dab it in with the paintbrush first and then come back with an actual paint or an airbrush and shade in some areas so that way it gives it more texture it gives it a little bit more like it's supposed to look like on the pattern that you've got so pretty much that is touch-ups in a nutshell they're not hard to do they just are a little bit time consuming and the other thing is is that you don't even have to use the same uh, film uh, I could have grabbed a green camouflage or some type of marble pattern or anything like that as long as it had the right colors that's what I'm more uh, worried about is getting the right color of ink not the actual pattern itself and so a lot of the times I've even had it to where we will actually touch up using a totally different pattern because that red that we need is better off of this pattern than it is on the pattern that we dipped it in so um, you don't always have to have the right color uh, film you just have to have the right color inks that are on maybe a different film to touch up whatever you need so I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I know we always love to um, make them and show you guys all of our tips and tricks and things like that. If you have any questions, definitely leave them below. We'd love to hear from you. And um, as always, I'm Brian from Liquid Concepts, and we're making Hydrographics great again. See you guys next time.